you must have seen such sticky sidebars or add widgets on many of your competitor sites. They are using such sidebars to improve the user experience. A sticky sidebar is what many bloggers want for their blogs, but many of the beginners don't know how to make a sidebar sticky on the scroll. You may use such a sidebar when using newsletter forms or something that you don't want to go away when you scroll the page. Well, in this video tutorial, we will show you how to create a sticky sidebar in the generate press theme. If you are new to my channel and don't want to miss any tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to be updated. Dabas blog. Hey guys, this is Nitin Dabas from dabasblog.com and I welcome you to the awesome tutorial on how to create a last widget sticky in generate press theme. Well, you can create such sticky sidebar widgets with any theme, but in this video, I will show you how to create it in the generate press theme. This is my site which I built with Generate Press Premium and you can see that I have created a sticky sidebar widget in the WordPress that doesn't go away when I scroll down the page. So why you need such sticky sidebars? Let me put some points regarding these sidebars. It may be the case that your sidebar widget is not enough to cover all the content on your page and it doesn't look nice when you scroll down the page and the sidebar appears empty. Now look at this interface, when you scroll down the page, the sticky widget remains here all the time and it improves the user interface by providing something related to the content. How can you avail yourself of the benefits of using sticky sidebars? A blogger or especially an affiliate marketer doesn't want to lose the opportunity to build a list of the audience that visits his blog. You can use such sticky sidebar widgets for newsletter forms or any sign up forms. You can promote your own course using the sticky sidebar banner. An e-commerce site can use sticky widgets for payment options. You can put AdSense ads on the sticky sidebar for a boost in your income. So these are some main reasons why most of the bloggers use sticky or floating banners. Now let's see how to create the last widget sticky on a scroll. Let me tell you there is no high class coding or tech mind needed for this. All you have to use are sticky sidebar CSS. Yes, you can make a sidebar sticky by using the CSS field. First of all, I show you the site with no sticky sidebar. Here you can see that there is no sticky or floating banner. Now let's create a sticky sidebar for it. First go to the appearance then click on the customize option. Now click on additional CSS and put the CSS code here to create a sticky sidebar. Now click on publish to apply the changes. Don't worry I have provided the CSS code in the description box. You can use the same code on your site. Now let's see does it work. Let me refresh the site. Just check it. Oh yeah, it is working great. So this is how you can create a last widget sticky. Now suppose you have sidebar having two three widgets, and you don't want an empty space when somebody scroll down the page. You can create the whole sidebar widget sticky using the CSS code. You just have to follow the same process, and the only different thing is the CSS code. I have provided both the codes in the description box. Just copy them and create a sticky sidebar in your WordPress site. How simple is it? You can make sticky sidebars easily by using these CSS codes in your Generate Press theme. That's why I like Generate Press theme the most and the reasons don't end up here. It is one of the best WordPress themes available and its versatility, high loading speed and lightweight furnish it very well. Above all. It is the first choice for bloggers who want an SEO optimized theme. You can grab it in just $59 with premium support and updates. I have provided the link to the theme in the description box. You can check it. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask me in the comment section. That's all for today. If you like this tutorial, please like and share it. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to it so that you don't miss any updates and tutorials in the future. So see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye. Thank you.